Welcome to BMAC Math Tutorial. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for freshly uploaded contents. This is a question from CSIR NET December 2018. This question is based on non-homogeneous wave equation with some initial condition and it is asked to find the value of u pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Now we know that the homogeneous wave equation is given by u dt is equal to c square u x x with the initial condition u x 0 is equal to f x and u t x 0 is equal to g x then using the transformation xi is equal to x plus ct and eta is equal to x minus ct the above equation reduces to u j eta is equal to 0. Now integrating we have u j eta is equal to some function of eta say phi eta and some another function of j that is psi j. Now transforming back to the original variable we have u x t is equal to phi of x minus c t plus psi of x plus c t. Here the in this problem the equation is given by u x x minus u t t is equal to e to the power x plus 60 with the initial condition u x 0 is equal to sin x and u t x 0 is equal to 0. Comparing with the standard form, we may rewrite this equation as u t t minus u x x is equal to minus e to the power x minus 60. Now, for this problem, we have c is equal to 1 therefore the solution to the corresponding homogeneous equation u t t minus u x x is equal to 0 is given by u c f x t is equal to phi of x minus t plus psi of x plus t. Now the particular integral for the non-homogeneous part we may calculate u p i x t as 1 by d prime 2 minus d 2 minus e to the power x minus 60 where d prime is equivalent to del del t and d is equivalent to del 
del x. Now this is is equal to 1 by d prime square minus d square minus e to the power x minus 1 by d prime square minus d square into 60. Now this is is equal to 1 by d prime plus d into d prime minus d minus e to the power x and 1 by if we take common 1 by d prime 2 then this is equal to 1 minus d square by d prime third whole square to the power minus 1 into 60. Now <clears throat> we may replace 0 we may put 0 in place of d prime and 1 in place of d therefore this is, is equal to minus e to the power x divided by 0 plus 1 0 minus 1 and this minus 1 by d prime square this is is equal to 1 plus d square d prime square plus some higher order terms into 60 this is is equal to e to the power x and minus 1 by d prime square this is equal to into 60 plus since this is 60 which is independent of x therefore d2 the other terms will be 0 now integrating we have 1 by d prime 3t square again this is, is equal to 1 by uh, e to e to the power x minus t cube therefore the solution of the non of the given non homogeneous wave equation is given by u x t is equal to u c f x t plus u p i x t this is is equal to phi of x minus t plus psi of x plus t plus e to the power x minus t cube differentiating with respect to t we have u t is equal to del u del t this is is equal to minus phi dash x minus t plus psi dash x plus t minus 3 t square let us denote this solution by equation 1 and this its partial derivative with respect to time t this equation by equation 2 now u x 0 the initial condition u x 0 is given by this is, is equal to 
sin x. This implies phi of x plus psi of x plus e to the power x is equal to sin x. This implies phi x plus psi x is equal to sin x minus e to the power x. Let us denote this by equation 3 and u t x 0 is equal to 0. This implies minus phi dash x plus psi dash x this is equal to 0. Now integrating minus phi x plus psi x This implies phi dash x minus psi dash x. This is, is equal to 0. Now integrating, we have phi x minus psi x. This is, is equal to some constant, say, c. Let us denote this equation by 4. Now, 2 plus now adding 3 now equation 3 plus equation 4 gives 2 phi x is equal to sin x minus e to the power x plus c. This implies phi x is equal to half of sin x minus e to the power x plus c and 3 minus 4 gives 2 psi x is equal to sin x minus e to the power x minus c. This implies psi x is equal to half of sin x minus e to the power x minus c. Therefore, phi of x minus t, this is, is equal to half of sin x minus t minus e to the power x minus t plus c this is equal to half sin x minus t minus half e to the power x minus t plus c by 2 and psi of x plus t is equal to half of sin x plus t minus e to the power x plus t plus c. This is, is equal to half of sin x plus t minus half of e to the power x plus t plus c by 2. Therefore, ux t 
is equal to phi of x minus t plus psi of x plus t plus e to the power x minus t cube this is is equal to half of sin x minus t plus sin x plus t minus half e to the power x minus t plus e to the power x plus t plus e to the power x minus t cube now u pi by 2 comma pi by 2 that is replace x by pi by 2 and t by pi by 2 we have half sin pi by 2 minus pi by 2 that is 0 plus sin pi by 2 plus pi by 2 sin pi minus half pi by 2 minus pi by 2 that is 0 e to the power 0 plus e to the power pi plus e to the power pi by 2 minus pi by 2 third whole cube this is is equal to half sin 0 means 0 sin pi means also 0 minus half 1 plus e to the power pi plus e to the power pi by 2 minus pi cube by 8 this is is equal to e to the power pi by 2 minus half e to the power pi minus pi cube by 8 minus half this is is equal to e to the power pi by 2 1 minus half e to the power pi by 2 minus pi cube plus 4 divided by 8 Hence, the option 3 is correct.